Hello and welcome to this Geotab Extend session, Driving Efficiency in Baltimore's Municipal Solid Waste Operations and Telematics. My name is Chris Jackson. I'm the Associate Vice President of Government Business Development, specializing in public works and smart city solutions here at Geotab. So today's discussion is going to be on kind of baseline telematics in solid waste operations, along with uh, Connor from our partner Rubicon, who's gonna explain some of the more sophisticated solutions and applications for the solid waste market that sit on top of baseline telematics. So with that, I'll just start off with this uh, first slide, which uh, helps frame the discussion of telematics and government fleets. So really what we see uh, typically in the government space is the the majority of the fleet is always the white fleet makes up the most of the vehicles makes up the most of the fleet and uh, typically has the more of the basic applications more of just the baseline fleet management needs uh, where the vehicles are some of the engine metrics uh, and that's it but that makes up the most of it as you move, move up that chain you get into some specific departmental needs uh, which kind of extend more into workflow management uh, the you know public safety needs to understand uh, some of the specific telemetry of lights and sirens and you know there's extension of other kind of work order management systems into different topics and different clients and different uh, departments so that's uh, but it's uh, what really starts to get into the sophistication is that top of the pyramid uh, very niche area and that's where we really look in the public works uh, solutions of there's the winter maintenance solutions there's sweeper operations and what we're talking about today which is the sanitation and waste management solutions uh, these solutions are much more than just extended telemetry uh, there's a lot of different sensor different data acquisition on the vehicle. There's a lot of driver interaction and driver driven behavior and data. And then there's a significant amount of integration and backend uh, solutioning that takes place to really apply for a full solution. So it really, it, it, it tend to be the smaller of all the different uh, groups and different uh, departments. However, this level of sophistication is as much higher uh, than some of the general applications. So just to kind of touch on the telematics data perspective, uh, what we show here is kind of your standard, what we would expect of a telematics data hub in a uh, waste management solution. Um, so, I mean, there's obviously the baseline engine data capture, uh, the driver behavior data that comes with the telematics data hub. But, uh, you know, from a productivity standpoint, seeing the real time data coming in helps drive various elements like dispatching, uh, it helps monitor levels of service, be, lets clients be able to see where locations of vehicles are in routes, uh, and, and comparison into where they should be, where they aren't, and et cetera. Um, and so there's a lot of different productivity tools just from understanding baseline telematics of a waste fleet. And then you get into expandability of what's beyond just the telematics data from the vehicle. There's a lot of sensors and a lot of different components to a waste management vehicle. There's actuators, there's beacon lights, there's camera systems. There's a variety of different components and there's a lot of different types of vehicles, much different from what's just represented in this slide here, uh, which provide a variety of needs of what type of data is used to drive uh, what the vehicles are doing. And so understanding that in comparison to uh, not having visibility of what the vehicles are operating, it drives a lot more uh, expandability off of just location. And then just like any other fuel uh, needs and uh, fuel evaluation uh, that fleet managers do, cutting costs around fuel and cutting costs around, uh, you know, just fleet optimization in general is a key piece. So, um, you know, there's a, there's a big push to understand how much, uh, you know, what, what is the actual preventative maintenance uh, of uh, waste management fleets. Uh, these are very expensive vehicles. So understanding how preventive maintenance cycles can be cut, uh, understanding how any of the you know, engines can be operated more efficiently is critical to fleet managers. And what we're seeing in this industry is a big push from standard combustion engines into the EV space as well. So it's not just about cutting CO2 emissions and understanding that type of fuel consumption uh, anymore. It's also looking at electrification strategies and understanding that data set off of uh, the, these types of uh, vehicles. Uh, and then of course, improving safety and compliance. Again, these are sophisticated vehicles. How they're operated is critical on safety. Safety to the driver, 
So understanding are these vehicles safe to drive? And the, just on the flip side, are the drivers operating the vehicles safely? Uh, because having these vehicles in the public, uh, and if they're not operated in a safe manner, can be a liability to the municipal uh, government. So uh, there's a lot of elements around safety and compliance, and you know, ensuring that there's authorized use, ensuring there's specific government policies, uh, the different agencies set are being utilized, et cetera. So quite a bit of information that can be and is used in baseline telematics. And so that kind of is the general layer of information is uh, for what like a, an application like my Geotab can provide. And then there's a lot of other specific solutions that stack on top of what uh, the telematics solution can provide. And that's uh, what Connor is here to present today and to show us uh, what that looks like. So with that, I'll pass it over to Connor. Well, hello, Chris, and hello to the Geotab Extend audience. This is Connor Riffle. I'm the VP of our Smart Cities business at Rubicon. And Chris, uh, thank you for that introduction and uh, for your slides on solid waste. Um, this is a really important area uh, for a lot of municipalities, and I'm delighted to be here today to talk trash with y'all. So thank you. Um, we're going to talk today about a couple things. We're going to talk today about uh, solid waste, how important it is, uh, why it's an important thing for municipalities to think about and a really important area for telematics and technology. I'm going to show you a little bit about our technology uh, and, and I'm going to talk about our implementation of that technology in one of the biggest fleets in the country, uh, the city of Baltimore's solid waste department. So. The first thing you may be wondering is, well, solid waste, it's, it's very niche, as, as Chris talked about. Um, there's lots of other vehicles in the fleet. Uh, solid waste is hard. Why should I care about solid waste? And the answer to that is that solid waste is, is one of the most important areas in a city. Uh, it's, it's often an area that get, needs and requires a lot of funding. So there's a lot of money in solid waste. Um, often collection of solid waste can be one of the top five costs that a city faces. The second reason that it's important is that politically it's very high profile. So if you're a mayor and the trash in your city is not getting picked up, you're going to hear about it. And we often say uh, in our business that, you know, if you're to be a successful mayor, you got to make sure that the, the snow uh, is picked up, uh, the snow is plowed. You got to make sure that the potholes are filled and you got to make sure the trash is picked up. So those are kind of the fundamental basics of, of go city government and solid waste is an integral component to that. And today I'm going to show you uh, our solution uh, at Rubicon, which is uh, a technology solution that's really born out of our experience in the solid waste business. Uh, Rubicon is a, a technology company. We've been around now for about 12 years, um, and we actually manage the, uh, the waste and recycling portfolios for many, many large Fortune 500 businesses. Um, we help them uh, manage their waste and recycling. We help them uh, make the, the collection of that uh, waste and recycling more efficient. And we help them move uh, to reduce the amount of waste that they send to landfill. So waste is what we do. Uh, and the technology that you're going to see today uh, actually came from building technology for our own business. Um, and that's actually uh, how we, we ended up uh, building this technology for, for municipalities. Um, our technology is uh, really focused on the specifics of municipal residential collection. So that's actually picking up the solid waste and recycling at, at homes uh, and maybe, maybe some small businesses in the city. Um, these are very, very dense routes. Uh, the typical number of stops on a, on a residential solid waste route might be 1,000, 1,200, 1,500. These are very, very dense residential stops. And as a result, uh, we have we've built solutions um, that, that cater to that specific need. Um, and that's really the specialty of our, of our technology. So just to give you a high level uh, of our technology, we're, we're built on the Geotab platform. So we operate best in scenarios where, for example, Geotab is already installed across the solid waste fleet and the solid waste department is looking for kind of a, a, the next level of insights and uh, an operational efficiencies in their, their operation. And so our technology consists of, of really two components. One is actually an iPhone. Uh, that we put in the vehicles. It actually serves as the in-cab interface. And I'll show you more about the iPhone and the app in a minute, but it's really designed for the drivers, for the municipal workers that are on the front lines 
of day-to-day -day waste and recycling pickup. Um, and we have a variety of features that are built specifically for them and for their, for the, to make their jobs easier. The GeoTab Go device, as well as the iPhone, they both collect data and that data comes back to our portal. This is a Rubicon proprietary portal that is designed and built specifically for residential solid waste collection. And um, so as a result, we have all the bells and whistles that you might expect about that, that very niche operation. Uh, we do uh, uh, dispatching of routes. We do optimization of routes. Uh, we do a confirmation of service. We do route progress. Um, really, the, the detail of how to take your operation um, and make it as efficient as possible uh, in the solid waste department, that's, that's really our specialty. I'll just show you a little bit about the, uh, the application to start that goes in the, in the driver's hands. So uh, a core component of our technology is actually um, the portability of it. So we actually, we have an app-based system. It can run on any iPhone or Android device. So it can go in and out of the trucks. And this is a really important piece for solid waste because what one of the things is if a municipality has in their solid waste operation, they might have 150, 200, 400 vehicles. As a result, not all those vehicles are gonna be running every day. They might have to swap in and out vehicles. Drivers might get in one vehicle, find out that it's not running and they have to switch to another vehicle. So our solution goes with the drivers from truck to truck. Um, the drivers take the phone in the, the cab with them every day. Uh, then they bring it back to the break room, they charge it at night, um, and then they, they bring it back to the truck the next day. That's very important. And the, the app is designed to work in any vehicle. It removes the need to, to have technology for every single one of your, your very large fleet. You can actually have just the number of, of devices that you need per the number of drivers you have, uh, which may fluctuate. So this is a really important piece of our, our technology. The other piece of our technology that I wanna mention is, is actually something called service confirmation or service verification. Um, we can actually verify that service has taken place in a dense residential area um, without the use of connecting uh, a, a wire to uh, the, the, the arm on the, on, the, on the lift or using RFID. We can actually do this with software and by the, um, the, the information that the phone and the app collect. And this is really important because one of the core components, as I mentioned at the top, that a mayor or a city manager might care about is, did the trash get picked up? Did the trash get picked up on this street? Or if I got a call, a complaint, did the trash get picked up at this particular address? And that's what our technology can do. And it can do it without uh, relying on hard wiring, without relying, uh, relying on uh, having to install lots of different components, uh, really just with, with running the, uh, the GeoTab Go device and, and running the, the iPhone that you, you see before you. I wanna highlight one other thing, which is uh, exceptions. So you can actually see on the third screen there uh, on the iPhone, if the drivers run into issues on route, they can actually use the iPhone to document those issues. So our, our concept uh, of, of, our, of our app is something called interaction by exception. So the drivers don't actually have to interact with the phone. They don't have to touch the phone really at all if there's no issues on their, on their route. It's only when they find an issue, for example, a blocked bin or a, missed, uh, a can that wasn't out, or for example, maybe contaminated recycling. These are examples of the types of issues that a driver might come across in the day-to-day -day collection of, of waste and recycling. And what they do when they, when they find that is they actually uh, just use the phone to document with, with a couple of touches um, the issue at that particular location. Um, so you can see, for example, you know, we have some of those examples there, um, nice large buttons that makes it very easy for the drivers to, to tap that. The next screen associates those with an address and then the following screen, which isn't here, actually allows them to take a picture of that infraction. And cities can do all sorts of things with these pictures. Cities can, um, for example, uh, issue violations. Uh, cities can respond to citizen complaints much better. So for example, if they have a photo that shows that a, a bin wasn't out at a particular address when the driver was there, then if that resident calls in and says, hey, you didn't pick up my bin, the city has documented documentary evidence that, that tells them that, they, that they, they were there, they did their job, and they don't need to go back. Go backs and uh, missed pickups are really the plague of a lot of municipal solid waste departments. They, they drain away the efficiency. Uh, they cost a lot of money um, because these trucks are so expensive to operate. So the, the iPhone and the software that you see before you, the Rubicon app, what it allows you to do is it allows these municipal governments to actually get a sense of uh, what's happening in the field and therefore reduce those missed pickups and reduce those go backs. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in the case of Baltimore in a minute.
Just gonna run you through a couple of more examples of what we use the app for. So turn by turn directions is a really important thing in the solid waste world, especially with COVID. There's a lot of new drivers. You might have a driver who does his normal ride every day and then because of a snowstorm or because of a global pandemic, uh, that driver doesn't can't do that route anymore. Either the driver's not available or that driver's needed another route. So we have lots of uh, fill-in drivers that come in and these fill-in drivers need to somehow navigate across the city for say six and a half hours, a uh, seven hour route. They need to pick up 1500 stops and they need to do it in the most efficient order and they've never run that route before. What, what are they gonna do? So a lot of cities are trying to muddle through this right now and have been trying to muddle through this with, with COVID and, and the, the disruptions that it's brought. Turn by turn navigation solves that. We have the routes digitized, everything. We have all the stops digitized, everything is available on the phone. Um, and so it's therefore in the driver's hand. It tells them exactly where to go, uh, the correct route to run, uh, which stops to pick up. We have things like location alerts. So if there are, uh, there's for example, a disabled customer where they can't bring their bin to the curb and the, the driver needs to actually go up to the house to pick it up, um, that's all available in the app right at the driver's uh, fingertips. Service information, how many cans is this customer supposed to have, um, you know, really everything that a driver would need to service their route effectively, all is available in the app. Um, and we make it really, really easy for the drivers. So it's a really important component of our, of our technology. I'll just say uh, one more word about the portal um, because this is really the brains of your solid waste operation. This is where the municipality is really gonna do everything. Uh, the, the portal will tell them exactly um, what stops their, their drivers are at, where the trucks are. Uh, it will tell them uh, what percentage of their route is complete uh, and uh, they can use it to schedule uh, routes for next week. For example, if you have a, a holiday on a Monday, and your routes are gonna change, right? Maybe you're gonna be running Monday's routes on Tuesday, or maybe you're gonna be running Monday's routes on Saturday. Each municipality does it differently. Um, our portal is able to handle all of that. Um, it does all of your dispatching. If you have a point-to-point -point service, like for example, bulky waste pickup, scheduled bulky waste pickup, or you're dealing with things in your city like illegal dumping, uh, and the solid waste department is responsible for that, all of that can be uh, can come into our portal. It can be, the routes can be created, they can be optimized, um, and then they can be sent out to the phone so the drivers can run them. So uh, the portal is, is really, it's, it's where all the information goes and it's one of the most powerful things about, about our platform to be able to use the data that's collected by the vehicles to actually improve efficiency uh, in, your, in your operation. I'll just touch on one other uh, thing too before we, we talk a little bit more about Baltimore and that is optimizing an entire fleet. So. Our portal, as I mentioned, um, we can optimize individual routes uh, on the fly. So for example, if you have uh, 15 new stops that were called in that morning, you can actually, um, you can have them in our portal and you can create and route those, um, those, those stops very efficiently uh, using our optimization technology. But cities often are in the market for what we call a full optimization, a full fleet optimization. And what this is, is taking every recurring route in the city and um, sometimes cities might have 100, 200 routes um, that they run each week. And looking at all those, looking at all the stops, and then coming up with the most optimal way to run those, those, those routes every single week. Um, so we look at day of service, we look at uh, seconds per stop, pickups per hour. We take all the data that's been collected by our technology and um, we're able to produce more efficient routes uh, for the city. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because this is one of the biggest things you can do as a municipality to reduce the costs that you have in day-to-day -day solid waste collection pickup. The routes are essential. In, for example, some work we did with the city of Atlanta, uh, our fleet optimization actually saved them $750,000 a year. Um, that's an annual saving, so they get that savings every year as they run those new routes going forward. So this is really important component of our, of our technology and, and of kind of you know, our experience in, in dense residential solid waste contexts. Now I'll just talk a little bit about Baltimore. Baltimore is one of our, our newest uh, customers. They're one of the largest uh, cities in, in the country, a uh, top 25 city. And we've been quite honored to, to get a chance to, uh, to work with them. They came to us asking for some of the things that I've outlined earlier in the presentation. They came to us looking to digitize their operation um, and they came to us looking to reduce missed pickups. And uh, they also came to us looking to uh, how to optimize their fleet. 
So these are all things that we're doing with the, with the city of Baltimore. Um, they have 159 vehicles. It's a, a very large operation. Um, lots of, lots of trucks. Uh, we have our technology installed in all of those vehicles. Um, the drivers are taking uh, the iPhone that I showed you out every day with them. Um, they're documenting photos. Uh, they're documenting any exceptions that they have at the curb. That information is all flowing back to the supervisors and the, the, the dispatch staff in the city. And it's allowing them to do things like uh, reduce missed pickups, which you can see on the screen. It's allowing them to um, answer citizen questions more effectively because they now have in their hands in real time photos of what's happening in, in the field. And this has been very relevant, for example, this last week, as we've had a lot of snowstorms on, uh, on, on the East Coast this last week and, and over the last month. And these, these snowstorms have been um, creating situations where the alleys in Baltimore are very icy. So the drivers are not able to get the trucks down the alley. So they're able to use the phone to document those issues. And then the city is able to, to reach out to citizens and say, hey, we couldn't service your bin um, uh, due to snow and ice. You know, here's a photo. You can actually see it. This is an example of some of the stuff we're, we're doing in Baltimore. We're so honored and pleased to work with, uh, with the city. It's a great municipality with the great leadership of, of Mayor Scott. Um, and we're very proud to, to, to be a partner in helping the city to really modernize uh, its, its, its solid waste operation. I'll say one thing, Chris, before, um, before we end, and I, I just, it's something that I love about solid waste um, and, and something I, wanna, I want everybody to, to experience, which is that these solid waste vehicles are the only vehicles that go up and down every single street in the city at least once a week. So they're unique in the city for that, for that reason. Um, they, they cover every street and they cover every street on a regular route. And as a result, we can start to use these vehicles to do other things in the city. So they don't just need to pick up waste. If we equip them with the right technology, they can do other things at the same time. And um, I'll just show you one example of some of the work that we're doing um, to actually equip these solid waste vehicles with, with front-facing cameras and as well as um, some very advanced technology called edge computing, which allows us to actually detect uh, potholes as the trucks are driving up and down their routes. We can do this with no driver interaction. Uh, we do this uh, actually processing these images on the edge, so on the vehicle themselves, and, and then only sending images of detected potholes uh, to city staff back in our portal to review. And we, we love this example and we love this work because it enables cities, which are so cash strapped right now, um, they've been hit hard by the pandemic. Um, everybody's really trying to have to do more with less. So this technology allows them, instead of paying someone else to go run their streets and look for potholes or paying crews to go look around, um, we can actually start to accomplish that with garbage trucks. So um, we're really excited uh, about the future of solid waste um, as we, we begin to elevate the garbage truck from just kind of a humble garbage truck to actually a, more of a roaming data collection center. So thank you for being with me. Um, I, I, I'm happy to answer you know, additional questions and, and talk more, um, but I, I appreciate the opportunity to talk trash with y'all and uh, to be here uh, with our, our friends at, at Geotabic Send. Thank you everyone.